What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David Cantero, and on this channel, I drop weekly videos on Facebook advertising, social media marketing, and making money online. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from, and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, guys, so shout out to Arian. This is a, a, a follow-up video from, from yesterday. If you caught my video yesterday, um, I was answering question number one from Arian here. But today, I'm going to simply shift gears and, and go straight to number two. As I mentioned on yesterday's video, um, this is simply a completely different topic. So I wanted to kind of break it up in the video and, and, and hopefully you guys get value out of this one. But what I'm going to do in this video is simply talk about um, which 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 funnels and what type of ads you should be running for clients okay so if you guys are are freelancers if you're an aspiring agency owner and you're and you're trying to put together some type of of service to to go out there and deliver to the marketplace when it comes to digital marketing um online marketing social media marketing um all the above i'm going to simply kind of just cover some basics and really make it simple on where you should be and how you should be approaching this and what ads or what type of, of funnels you should be, you know, driving traffic to. So all I can do really, and, and again, shout out to Ariane, because this guy right here fired up, super freaking excited um, and, and super passionate about building his, 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 his agency. And he's out there in India um, focused on the same niche. So that's why he reached out just to, you know, get my, to kind of pick my brain and, and get my two cents on, on how I do it, man. So, so for the past, we'll, since 2017, really 2016, 2017, I've been I've been building an agency, right? Getting clients, um, direct messaging people on social media um, to schedule appointments, right? Um, to deliver social media marketing services and Facebook advertising services, right? So that's what I've done full time, all day, every day. It's how I feed my family. It's what I did since 2016. All right, it's all I do. Um, and then of course affiliate marketing and 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 all of that. But it's all one. It's all what I do. It's all one damn thing, right? One damn business. So. In this video, I'm going to simply just kind of go over um, what websites you should be you should be um, driving traffic to, and which Facebook ads you should be running. Okay, now now again, this is based on my experience, based on my niche. But here's the bottom line: as I started in my as I started building my agency and going out there and getting clients and focusing on one niche, that's what's super important: is you have to focus on one niche. When I when I decided on that one niche that was in 2016 okay that was in 2016 and the reason why is because the reason why i chose that niche and this is another tip choosing your niche the reason why i chose mine which were real estate agents is because i came from the industry six years prior i was in the mortgage industry so i was a banker doing mortgages partnering with real estate agents an agent is the one who sells a house or helps someone buy a house the mortgage guy is the one who actually finances that person to even buy it right so i was the financer i was the bank i was the mortgage lender that's what i did full time crushed it in mortgages um, from 2010 to 2016 so i already had the experience i already had the background i already had you know the 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 lingo and the verbiage i already had the swag down of that industry so when i leave mortgages in 2016 i stayed in the industry somewhat right now just kind of shifting gears and now doing marketing online marketing services for real estate agents right because i knew that if i were to start approaching real estate agents and if i can tell them my background and tell them how i came from mortgages and how i spent six years doing that and working with agents that right there was going to give me credibility that right there was going to give me just just the overall um, um ability to communicate with that niche that's why i chose real estate so i always talk about this and i always say if you're going after businesses, go after businesses that you're excited about or fired up about, right? Or go after and or go after businesses that you have experience in or would like experience in. So if you think about it, man, a lot of people just try to do it for the money. A lot of people, you have no freaking experience in dentistry, but you want to build an agency and you want to go get dentist clients. It's like, what? Like, you don't even know. You don't even know what the freaking, you don't even know what a damn drill is like for your mouth for your tooth you don't know nothing about that industry but all of a sudden you want to start running facebook ads for them yeah right dude i've seen that over and over and over dude like people will just randomly pick a niche because they think the money is there but they have no experience in that niche whatsoever nor do they care to gain experience in that niche whatsoever right so 
So first and foremost, you should be going after a niche that, that you're fired up about or, or plan on being fired up about that. That's number one. Okay. Now, now, Again, as I jumped in 2016 to 2017, and I started teaching real estate agents all this stuff, right? I then started documenting it on YouTube. I then started talking about it, you know, just documenting my day, whether I was closing a client or how I had to overcome an objection of a client or how I'm running a Facebook ad for a client or how I'm putting up a landing page for a client. All of that, dude, is my YouTube channel today, right? So, so as I started documenting it, building a YouTube channel, other people started reaching out to me, all of you guys, all of my loyal YouTube subscribers, those of you that are coming across my channel, you guys started reaching out to me and saying, hey, David, can you teach me social media marketing? Can you teach me how to build a funnel? Can you teach me how to do Facebook ads? Then I started, then I started really working with all kinds of different businesses because I realized in the beginning, I realized up front that what I was teaching real estate agents was the same. It was the same strategy for every business, right? Every, every business needs a lead. Every business is looking for an appointment. Every business is looking for a sell. So the majority of businesses that we service as social media agencies are small business owners. Unless you're super advanced and you're freaking servicing of a, a, a fortune, you know, freaking 100 company or a fortune, you know, 500 company. It's like, dude, like, you're probably not even watching my channel. Like my channel is really for the beginner. So, so normally those of you that are watching it, watching this video right now, you guys are beginners as far as social media marketing, you know, and all this stuff, right? Facebook ads, all this stuff. That's why you guys are freaking here, right? So majority of you are going after small business owners and the majority of those small business owners all are looking for the same thing. It's a lead, it's an appointment or it's a sell, right? So Here's answering the question to number two. Um, as you know, results are very important for, for, for our clients. So what type of funnel and Facebook ads do you suggest for the client who is looking for seller leads or buyer leads? Okay, again, in this case, he's talking a real estate agent. He's talking about a real estate agent, right? That niche, um, though, that niche and those, those, those types of, of businesses, real estate, right? They're running ads to capture buyers or sellers for real estate. That's what it's all about, right? So in this in this case, he's he's talking about running up, running it to a landing page to capture a seller lead for that real estate agent. Okay, so that's that's as simple as it gets. Where all you're doing is running a Facebook ad to a landing page. Okay, so in this case, Ariane. It's a, it's a landing page for seller leads or buyer leads. And that's what I do with my clients. So as, as, I, as I onboard a real estate agent, for example, and, and again, the reason why I'm doing a video and, and, and keeping this general, because again, the same strategy applies for every business, dude. It don't matter what type of business you're building or what type of business you're servicing. Nine out of 10 of us are looking for a lead, an appointment, or a sell. It's the same thing. So, so just kind of, you know, put this in, 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 in your business terms and, and it's the same damn strategy. So at the end of the day, you, you're not running a Facebook ad to a website. That's what most people do. Most people try to run a Facebook ad to a website. You absolutely have to be running it to a landing page, okay? So in this case, let me show you a quick example of a, of a landing page for a real estate agent um, when it comes to helping them capture leads of people who are looking to sell their house their house. That's a listing agent, right? So what I teach real estate agents to do is to simply come up with a PDF, a simple download, a free PDF that gives a homeowner tips on selling their house. And then what you do with that is you use that offer, you use that PDF as bait when running Facebook ads, right? So you start running Facebook ads for the client. Their whole objective is to, is to educate people on what it takes to sell and to give away their free seller guide. Okay. And, and so that whole entire landing page would look something like this, right? So they see the Facebook ad, they click, they come to one single page. So Ariane, I'm pretty sure you're, 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 you know, this advanced, right? You're, you're, you're this knowledgeable to know that it has to come to a landing page. Okay. So again, what I talked about in yesterday's video, pick one niche and go have a ton of landing pages ready for that one client. Okay. So this is one page that I have ready for my clients. When I onboard them, I can simply give them, you know, this, this landing page and this funnel um, and, and, and plug it in real quick and have them start running Facebook ads or Instagram ads or even YouTube ads to start capturing seller leads. Okay. So, so Ariane over here, um, what type of funnel 
and Facebook ads do you suggest for the client who is looking for seller leads? That's the funnel. Okay, that's the funnel. Simple, super simple. It's one page. There ain't nothing to it. That person comes here. They click the yellow button. They opt in, and then they go to a thank you page. Two pages. That is a funnel. That's it, man. It's that simple. So the majority of these small business owners, you guys could be doing this, or if you're servicing small business owners, they could be doing this simple landing page. Landing page. Thank you page. And then when they come over here, they click that button and now they go to an online calendar where they're able, where, where they're able to schedule a call with that business. So this could have been a yoga studio. This could have been a, a, a gym. This could have been a chiropractor, a dentist, a freaking real estate agent, an insurance agent. This could be many, many businesses that you see outside of your neighborhood. This could be one of those businesses. Landing page, thank you page, online calendar. And so for all this stuff, I use Kartra. And that's the, the link that you'll see in the description, profitwithkartra.online. And the reason why I use that software is because it comes with the three main tools that I need, all at a low monthly rate of 99 bucks. So landing page, I need. Email autoresponder, I need. Online calendar, I need. That's all in one with Kartra. So if you click on the link in the description, profitwithkartra.online, activate a 14 day trial. You'll get an email from me with an invite to my weekly group coaching calls every Monday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern, where I simply take you through um, a, a, an onboarding and a tutorial on how to crush Kartra. Okay. But this is as simple as it gets is again, no matter what business it is, it comes down to these two, two pages, landing page, thank you page. So if I'm servicing clients, this is all I need for them. If I'm a, if I'm an actual business owner and I want to start running ads to capture leads, get appointments or make sales, this is all I need is a couple pages, right? So I use that. I use Kartra profit with Kartra.online. Um, Activated 14 day trial and freaking play with the damn thing. Compare it to what you're probably using right now, the all multiple services that you're probably using. Compare it. And there, there's nothing that comes close. So, to answer your question, Ariane, it's a simple sales funnel. Okay. It's a landing page that, that you have to be driving traffic to. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet nine and a half out of 10 people, and I don't know how I got the half, but nine and a half out of 10 of you guys that are watching this video right now, you either have a small business or you're servicing, servicing small businesses. This is all it comes down to. If you can provide a landing page type of sales funnel for that business or for your business, you will crush it. Okay. Now here's the deal. When it comes down to it, what type of Facebook ads do we run? This is where I've had the experience and, and, and really the, the honor, the pleasure of speaking to thousands of small business owners, specifically real estate agents. But at the end of the day, I, again, it's the same damn thing. Any business, all businesses, majority of them, it's all the same damn thing. Um, um, Facebook ad, landing page, capture lead, make an appointment, make a sell, whatever. It's all the same shit, right? So, so after experience on, experiencing and, and, and speaking to thousands of people about this, man, since 2016, this is all I've done, right? Nine out of 10 people run the wrong ad. And this is where it all starts. So as you come into your ads manager, you click on this green button right here. This is where it all starts. And I talk about this all the time in my YouTube videos. I talk about how you can have the best ad, you can have the best image, you can have the best video, your shit can be on point, you can write the best ad copy, which is the text, you have all that all that stuff ready to go and it's all freaking perfect, you could be targeting the right audience, you could be retargeting an audience, you can have all these custom audiences set up, you can have everything on the back end when it comes to the technical side of running the ad down, you can have all that shit perfect, but if you don't choose the right objective right here, none of that matters. And, and that's a, that's freaking honest truth. So after speaking to thousands and thousands of agents or and or business owners, because again, as I started talking about this in 2017 on YouTube, I started attracting all kinds of different businesses and even aspiring agency owners like Ariane on, on just wanting to get my advice on, on Facebook ads, right? And if you're new to Facebook ads, there's a link in the description, fbadscheatsheet.com get yourself a free copy. That's a simple PDF that I put together um, that goes over the custom audiences, okay? The custom audiences and the custom conversions that you need to have set up before you even run your next ad. So that link is in the description, fbadscheatsheet.com. Uh, but grab a copy of that because again, this is where it starts, man. I've spoken to thousands of people and when I ask them which objective did they go with, it's always the wrong one. It's always the wrong one, dude. Out of thousands and thousands of people, 
thousands of conversations later, it's always the wrong objective. A lot of them will boost a post. Yeah, David, I ran Facebook ads. Yes, I boosted a post. It's like, dude, I'm not freaking talking about boosting a post. I'm about talking about running a damn ad. Have you ran a freaking ad? Have you ran one through the ads manager, right? Have you freaking did it this way? Did you smash the green button, right? And, and nine out of 10 times, it's, it's, it's no. They'll, they'll, they'll be doing it through their business page. They're, they're trying to do it through their cell phone and, and set up an ad that way. And it's like, no, dude, you have to get on a computer. You have to come to the ads manager and you have to smash that green button button. This is how you properly set up an ad. Don't try to do it on your cell phone. Stop trying to do it on your cell phone. Do it here, right? Um, get on a desktop, freaking get on a laptop, whatever. Do it here. Because again, thousands of conversations later, majority of people go with the wrong objective. So you have one objective in mind, right? Lead, appointment, make a sell. You have a video on it and you freaking did your best on that damn video, right? And you're about to run it as an ad, but you come over here and you do video views. Because logically, you're like, okay, I got this video. If I can get thousands of people to view it, I might get some sales or I might get some appointments or I might capture some leads. So let's go with video views and let's get 77,000 people to view it. It's like, dude, whatever you choose here, Facebook's going to give you. Facebook is going to give you. So if you go with video views thinking, okay, let me get 57,000 people to view it because I'm going to get a shitload of leads out of it and you go video views, mm -hmm. that couldn't be further than the truth. It's like, dude, Facebook's going to give you what you choose. So you chose video views. You got 57,000 video views and no leads, no sales, no appointments. You got 57,000 video views. There you go. We'll take your 300 bucks, right? You go with engagement because you're like, okay, well, shit. If I can get people to engage in this post, then I'm going to get some leads out of it. No, you're not. Who says that? Like, yeah, right. You're going to get a shitload of people to comment and that's cool. You're going to get people to, to like it, to share it your post, your image, your video, and that's cool, right? But you have to micromanage that because now you have an engagement ad running. Now you have a bunch of people commenting. So now you're micromanaging your cell phone and you're like freaking like my 13 year old on their freaking cell phone all damn day because, because you got to reply to freaking messages. You got to reply to comments, I should say. Not messages, not messages. This is not a message ad. We're talking engagement. You have to reply to freaking comments because that's the ad that's running, right? Traffic. You come over here and you're like, okay, well, shit, if I can get a bunch of people to my website, right? So Ariane, you're probably thinking, okay, I'm going to help a real estate agent. I'm going to give them a seller guide funnel so they can start capturing seller leads, right? People interested in selling their house. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to run traffic, right? Okay. You run traffic. You're going to get a ton of people to click the ad, come to your landing page, but you ain't going to get no leads. That's traffic. Traffic is simply sending people to a destination and that's it. So again, whatever you choose over here, Facebook is going to give you. So I don't want just people. I don't want just traffic. I don't need just people going to my page. I don't need you to just click on the ad and go to the damn page, right? I don't need you under engagement. I don't need you to just comment and share and click like on the damn post. I don't need none of that. I don't need video views. I don't need 57,000 views and no leads. I don't need none of that. Lead generation is when I don't have a, a, a landing page, right? So I don't have a landing page, but I still need leads. Now we're not talking appointment. We're not talking sell. We're talking just lead. Then I can go lead generation, but there's a few steps to that. And I, I, and I don't ever do lead generation. A lot of real estate agents do. I don't ever recommend it at all. Um, only because there's, there, there's other steps involved. You need Zapier. You need, to, you need to export that lead. You still need to import it to an actual CRM. So you might as well go get a Kartra. You still need some type of online calendar. So you might as well go and get Kartra. There's just too many steps involved with lead generation. That's why I don't do it. Messages is exactly what it is. You run a Facebook ad, people click. They're going to send you a message. And, and to be super effective, with that, connect your many chat, right? Go over here to um, manychat.com and, and simply set up your many chat and integrate it with your business page. And this is where you can automate messages um, right here, many chat. You can automate messages as you run Facebook ads. You can you can automate those messages and just simply reply, right? So that's, that's messages, right? What you want to go with, right? 10 out of 10 times, if you're in the business of capturing leads, scheduling appointments, or making sales, it's conversions. It's conversions, okay? It's conversions. So back over here, Ariane wants to know on number two, um, 
Facebook ads you suggest? Which Facebook ads do you suggest to run for the client who's looking for leads? Okay. Who is looking for leads? It's conversions. Okay. Now, if you don't know how to set up a custom conversion, because that's what has to be set up first, you can't just come over here, go conversions, and then boom, Facebook's going to bring you leads. Stay to the end, and I have a video coming up at the end. That's how to set up a custom conversion. I'll, I'll also link it right below. You have to watch that video. I take a client through step-by-step -step on how to set up a custom conversion. Um, that's what you want to do first. You want to set up a custom conversion. You want to set up a custom audience. Um, and then you want to come over here and run conversion ads. That is for leads. So, Ariane, that's what I would do, man, is I would simply um, um, not expect the client to already have these type of landing pages. I would think of one niche, the one niche I'm going to go after. I would, I, will, I'll, I'll, I would master that niche. I would go create a bunch of funnels for them. And again, in yesterday's video, I talked about how you can sell them the funnels or how I just simply give them away, right? Um, with the intention of them sticking around and me making a residual income as an affiliate marketer of that software that I just recommended to them, right? Kartra. So I would have a ton of funnels and I would give them that funnel. That's, that's what I would do. It, so it, it's going straight to a landing page. And then what I would come over here to Facebook side, the Facebook side is I would, I would come over here, um, request access to their ad account, right? Not just their business page. I'm requesting access to their ad account. And, and I'll, I'll link that video in the description um, on how to do that, on how to request, request access to their ad account. Because then what you can do is you can go in there and set up the custom conversion in their account. You don't need passwords or anything like that. I walk you through how to do it through Facebook, how to request access um, and, and have and, ha and, 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 and have and, and get get access to to their to their entire account where you can, again, create the custom audience. You can create the custom conversion and you can run the ads through their account without needing to log in with passwords. So that link will be in the in the in the description as well. But that's what it is, man. It's conversions. A lot of guys don't don't know about, you know, this is where everyone gets stuck. Just based on my experience, based on talking to a shitload of people, this is where people are stuck. They don't know to go conversions. And if they did know, they still didn't set up the custom conversion. OK, the custom conversion is around the thank you page link. So this link right here, the link that they land on when they get to the thank you page link, when they get to the thank you page. This is the link that you set up as a custom conversion. Okay, so in Facebook, you got the landing page, right? Let's go back real quick. We got we got the landing page. We're, we're running Facebook ads. They click. They come straight to the landing page. When that lead opts in, they then go to a thank you page. The thank you page is the most important link. That's your custom conversion. So again, right here at the end of the video of this video, you'll see the, that one. You'll see that video come up here at the end. Watch that if you don't know how to set up a custom conversion. Watch that if you're in the business of leads, appointments, or making sales online. All right, guys. So that's what I wanted to kind of cover. Shout out to Ariane, um, how to acquire them and what do you suggest to show them in a 15 minute video? I'll do that video next, Ariane. Um, let's keep it simple and, 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 and have this video focus on just number two. That's what I'd be doing. If you're running Facebook ads, make sure you're taking them to a landing page. Um, that click, make sure you're going to a landing page. And most importantly, make sure that you're running conversions. But first, set up your custom conversion so you can actually see the ROI on those ads. Okay, so links are in the description to those two other videos, how to set up a custom conversion and how to re request access to an ad manager to a business account. Um, watch those videos and stay tuned for the answer to number three, which is down here, how to acquire them and, and what do you suggest to show them in a 15 minute free Zoom call. That's what I'll cover with you um, next after hundreds and hundreds of, of, of clients and thousands of Zoom calls with these clients. I'll show you exactly what I was able to do um, and, and what I still continue to do still, still to this day. So that's it for this video, you guys. Over and out. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you soon.